Minister for Industries and Commerce, Ketia Garu, Honorable Minister for Tribal Welfare, Women and Child Welfare, Shrimati Satyavati Rathwak Garu, Secretary Sir, uh, Dean ISB, Mr. Srivastav, and uh, to all our partners. I see so many partners today, and I'm very happy to be here. Debashish from SBI, and uh, I see our uh, partners from uh, ISB, then also from our Tricor team, then we have our uh, partners from CII, Leap, Dicky, and uh, I'm very happy today that you know we have come to this stage, wherein the alumni of the first batch are coming here and giving their testimonials, and uh, we have the second batch of the ISB CMST entrepreneurship, and uh, I'm really happy that this time there's a lot of inclusivity in the selection of candidates, and uh, we are having uh, candidates uh, who are from the Lombardi community and uh, Koyas, Gons, and for the first time we're having Chenchu entrepreneurs who have come to uh, ISB. <laughs> and, uh, it makes me really proud as a Commissioner of Tribal Welfare that we're able to ensure this diversity is here and this diversity is able to access an opportunity that is going to help them, and not only them, but other members from the community in the near future. So I really wish that each and every one of you should make uh, you know, optimal use of the resources that have been planned and that have been tied up for you. Uh, the initial academy content at ISP is designed to orient you towards uh, selecting your business options, to introduce you to uh, business opportunities, and to also introduce you to financial institutions. And this time, based upon last year's feedback, we are redesigning re the content a bit so that you know we can straight away get to the point and you know, start off with a more specific and a more accurate uh, DPR uh, presentation. And uh, I would definitely like to uh, assure all the candidates of uh, the 2019 CMSU Entrepreneurship Batch that the department is and will be with you supporting and pushing you until your DPRs are cleared and until your bank loans are accessible to you. I really hope that uh, you know, you'll be able to think freely, that you'll be able to assess what your interest lies in and what would be a viable business opportunity for you. And like a lot of your uh, previous alumni have stressed, do not base your decision on the subsidy components, but think actively. What can you run as a business? Where does your passion lie? And I would definitely like to also impress upon each and every one of you that it is our collective responsibility to give back to the community. So like your alumni of the 2018 batch are going to engage and employ 50% of their staff from the tribal community, I would also like to stress to each and every one of you that that should be our moral obligation. That when we have received a help in hand, we need to give back to the communities that we hear from. And today I'd like to make a special mention of our students who are from the Tribal Welfare Gurukulam Degree College. And uh, we we'll welcome your participation here. And we have brought you here today so that you can be inspired by the others, the people who are maybe slightly elder to you, and the people who have already gone through what you will be going through shortly, so that you can get ideas and concepts, and that you may also think about entrepreneurship as an option in your future. And uh, once again, I'd like to thank Dean Garu. <laughs> so, if, uh, Dean Garu, na dhanyavadamru. Uh, I have to give credit to Poyna Samvatsram, Aruna Madam Pancheseru, Madhurima and Kanthu Ghosh. I have to give credit to this team and members of the team, but Madhurima is still there and I have to give credit to this team. So I am sure that you are in very good hands and uh, like uh, last year, we have to give credit to this team, but if there is a problem, if there is a problem, we are with you 24 by 7. So thank you very much for the time. Thank you.